All right, everybody, welcome back. And in this step, we are going to be talking about repurposing content. I'm not going to spend a ton of time here, except to, but I don't want you to take the brevity of this particular step to mean that it is less important. It's just that this is not difficult for me to explain, but it's it's pretty critical for you to understand that it's not necessarily about the volume of content that you create. Uh, that is going to dictate the success of your blog and your content strategy. It's more about your ability to find out, you know, figure out what is working and then do more of it. Okay. And to repurpose what is working. Okay. So take a look at this post uh, that I created on May 6th of 2014. So quite a long time ago, this post was created. It was called the ultimate list of blog post ideas. All right, and a very nice, long, very authoritative post on different blog post ideas. And when I published this post, it immediately started to do really, really well. It went sort of viral uh, for us and got lots of attention and people clearly really loved this piece of content. So rather than just sort of high five everybody and just talk about, oh, wow, you know, that, that did pretty well. Okay. What are we going to do next? Um, what's the next piece of content we're going to create? Instead, we, we started to plan, okay, how, what are different ways that we can use this piece of content that is obviously something that people really like our audience really loves it. Um, how can we repurpose it? And the first thing that you're going to want to look at to do with it is turn it into a middle of funnel offer. So this started out as more of a top of funnel offer, um, you know, an offer that was over he up here on our blog. All right. And that's what you're looking at. You're looking at here is, is the piece at the top of the funnel. And this brought in a lot of social shares and a lot of activity for us at the top of the funnel. But then we took this exact same piece of content and we turned it into a PDF document and we turned it into this, the ultimate list of blog post ideas. And we called it 212 blog post ideas. And in reality, you've already, if you've been through the certification, the complete certification, you know that I used this graphic in this training because it's that good. Okay. So I not only I use it as a blog post, then I turn it into a middle of funnel piece a uh, resource here at the middle of the funnel because everybody really liked it. It, it was a, a really easy type of post, uh, blog post, top of funnel piece for me to turn into a useful resource. All right. So it's a, uh, it start. we also turned it into a mind map that you can download off of MindMeister. Um, you know, so we've repurposed this thing and this, this middle of funnel offer is available at the top of the funnel, but we run a lot of traffic directly to this page right here, this squeeze page. Remember how important that is, that we run traffic directly here where there's only you know two choices, download it or exit. And so we run a lot of traffic here because we knew that it was a piece of content that people really liked and desired, and they'd be willing to give us their email address and become a lead. All right, so we turned and repurposed a top of funnel piece into a middle of funnel piece, but we also took it and turned it into more top of funnel stuff. All right. So we turned it into a video, all right, which is here on YouTube. Okay. So you can see that this, this YouTube video, the ultimate list of blog post ideas has 13,199 uh, people that have, that have looked at it. All right. So it's, um, it's a, it's a piece of content that we are using over and over and over again. And we're always finding ways to repurpose this thing at the top of the funnel. But don't forget just how important the big critical thing is that once you see something that is working, look at it and see if there's a way to turn it into a PDF resource or a template or, or a checklist or something that could be downloadable as a as a as an asset at the middle of the funnel it's so important guys to look for things that are working at the top of the funnel and use them in the middle of the funnel all right so let's move on to the next step